Hello folks, welcome to Ginger Lion Spoilers for Agrarian Skies. Today we're going to be working on Smoothed Silk, which is the next quest in the quest line. We still can't do this until we have um, paper, and we don't have paper yet. So now, the neat trick here is that when you use the crook on the leaves of any of the trees, you're going to get yourself silkworms. When you take silkworms and place them in the leaves of a tree, grow a tree real quick. When you take silkworms and place them in the leaves of a tree, you notice how that turned a lime green? I'll be right back in a second and you'll see what happens in a little while. So see how that is now a stark, complete white color, and these are starting to turn white? The silkworms will spread throughout the tree, turning the leaves white. When you break those leaves with a crook, you get string. You also sometimes get silkworms and um, sometimes saplings. It's much more efficient to get saplings from normal tree growth, but that's just fine. So now we have ourselves access to silk and we have ourselves access to wood. That's going to allow us to build the necessary tools. Let's start with the bed. Now, for those of you who haven't done this one, there is the three pieces of wool necessary to make ourselves a bed, simply made out of the string that we're getting now from the X Nilo trees. Um, there is your first potential protection from monsters overnight, the simply ability to put down a bed and sleep in it, and thus survive the evening. There. Next, we need to make ourselves a hammer, a fishing rod, and an oak sieve. So, fishing rod, hammer, nope. I forgot the recipe already. Just a moment. Recipe for the X Nilo wooden hammer. Ah, I was with diagonals. And finally, the last thing that we need to make is an oak sieve. This is a particularly useful device, useful enough that I intend to show you how to use it before we move on. So, the oak sieve is this. No, then it's this. Yep. The recipe for the oak sieve is two of these silk meshes, two wood, and two sticks. So let me make another silk mesh. two wooden planks, two sticks. There's an oak sieve. We now have all the things necessary to complete this quest. Um, and I'm going to do a hand in. Oh, sorry, your first stone. Here's the second piece of it. You need to make yourself a cobblestone. So here's the trick. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you a couple of mechanics that I haven't shown you yet. They're useful to necessary for this process. If you take wooden barrels and put them down. If you put them down outside and it rains, they fill with water. If you put them down inside, you can take saplings or silkworms. Uh, you can also take rotten flesh, apples, there are a whole bunch of other things you can do this with. And if you right click on the barrel and dump a bunch of them in the barrel, as you see it takes a lot more silkworms than it did take um, those. Let me also show you Rotten flesh. All of these, if they sit for just a little bit, you'll notice this is getting brown, this is getting brown, and this is slowly fading from the horrible red it started as. In just a moment, all of these will turn into dirt. Then you right-click on the barrel, and you'll get yourself some dirt. I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute, but having thus secured yourself a source of dirt, 
If you toss, right click with dirt on the sieve, it puts it in. If you right click a couple more times, it sieves it through and out pops out stuff. All sorts of stuff. Um, there's, in fact, I'm going to include a link here to what you can sieve and what you get out of it. But the first and most important thing that we get out of it by sieving nothing but dirt is these stones. Combining these stones together gets ourselves the cobblestone. And there we are. Now, sugarcane is going to be valuable. Cotton, not so much, because now we can get that from trees. Carrots are food. Wheat is food of various kinds. I don't have an opinion as to what you should do here. I'm going to pick... S I'm going to pick seeds, because that's going to allow farming relatively quickly. And that pleases me. And you'll notice, here's the stone axe that I promised we'd be getting very soon. So... There, adds to my quest bag. Nope, no quest bags. Yep. Um, and two half hearts. Well, when you get these portions of hearts, you can combine them. Any two has a recipe for it. And there we go. That's a half a heart, getting us closer to our next life. So, I hope you enjoyed this, folks. And I'll see you with the next one. Oh, by the way, here's what a tree looks like when it's complete. And... Here's what the dirt looks like when it's complete. If you just right-click on it, it pops out and into your inventory. See you next time, folks.